In the middle of Indonesia, the most populous Muslim nation on earth, there is a tiny island where the people are almost all Hindu. The island is Bali. And the Balinese share their daily lives with the legendary Hindu gods and heroes that have walked and danced on the island for a thousand years. Over the last 30 years, another group of legendary figures has captured their imagination dancing on water. This grainy old film we made in 1976 to show how the first Balinese boys broke through centuries of superstition about the sea and took to the water on surfboards. They learned by borrowing boards from the visiting Australian and American surfers they saw performing on the waves in front of their homes every day. The old film went on to show how the first generation of Balinese mastered the sport within a few years. Okay, let's bike. Soon they were joining up with some of the best foreign surfers in the world and exploring the island for new surfing spots and better waves. It used to take half the day just to get to where they thought the waves might be breaking. And then, maybe a good two kilometre hike to the beach. For those first boys, it was more than a struggle down a cliff. It was a journey out of a thousand years of belief. For the three million Hindu people on the island have always believed their gods live in the mountains, but the sea is the home of their demons and evil spirits. A quarter of a century later, the scene has changed radically. Surf paparazzi can make the same journey in a matter of minutes, chasing photographs of some of the best surfing waves in the world. And these young surfing stars are the second generation of surfing on the island, and the sons of those who saw surfing completely changed their island forever.